Hey, Christian. All right, let's go ahead and jump over here. This is so cool. Boy, this is just beautiful work. Just beautiful. Consistency is out of control, man. It's great. Really, really nice. Nice, nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at... Looks good with lowercase, doesn't it? Boy, this is so versatile, too. Guys, you can stack type with this. You can do it with so many different type of graphic compositions. There is an area I want to recommend. And, and, you know, just so you know, one of the reasons we do this, this is like kind of one of the final acid tests. And this testing stage could theoretically take a while in typeface development because, well, I think the reason is obvious. It's, it, it's really, I mean, you don't want to find an inconsistency when you're starting to typeset. Do you see what I'm saying? You want to be aware of all of the potential issues that could possibly come up before you start typesetting, because that could entail a lot of work. Experienced type designers know what letter combinations to look for, whereas we really don't yet. You're learning. You're definitely learning. I mean, I, I think that you know exactly what to look for in terms of putting uh, letter combinations together, and, and finding problematic areas. One of those areas I think is right here. Um, the, there's an issue here. And the issue is that your descenders for the lowercase y and the lowercase g are, the, lo the lowercase y descender is, is, is really, it's encroaching this area that extends beyond this, um, this vertical stem, or this, this diagonal stem right here. So the end of the y, is right here, but the descender extends to the left of that line right there, meaning that if you do have a, if you place the Y next to, to the right-hand side of another letter that has a descender, you're going to have some problems with kerning, because right now you can't get that any closer. There, are, Those descenders are already touching. So if you, you can't, and it, you know, there's a little bit of space there. So if you want to in, decrease the space between the G and the Y, you can't because the descenders are already touching. That's going to create a serious problem right there. For that reason, I recommend adjusting your descenders. And while you're at it, go through some of your other descenders, do some tests with different letter combinations to see if there may be some issues. We can see that uh, possibly um, you know, the Y, possibly you know, check the G. Okay, so go YG to see if that's going to be an issue. You may have to uh, work on the descender for the G. Conversely, take that T right there and place it next to another letter with a descender, um, maybe the F or even something with a curve, the Y, just to see how that T affects those letter combinations. Because, you again, you don't want to eliminate the possibility of being able to kern your letters closely based on the fact that one or two of the descenders uh, encroaches the, the, the area for the its neighboring letter. Okay, hope that makes sense. That's really all I'm seeing. I'm just I'm seeing an issue with the descenders, and that's really it. So let's get those worked out and and boy, this is good. This is so good. I hope you're proud. I really do because this is portfolio ready. Well, almost, almost. I think there's some adjustments. Also, I want you to really zoom in here and get down and dirty. Get right on top of each of these letter forms. When I say right on top, I'm talking about like so. I can really get in there and take a look at these letter forms and see what could be. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Just wanted to, you know, get right on top of those letter forms and, and really take a look at letter combinations and really take a look at zoomed in quite closely there just to see if you can find some inconsistencies and, and address those. Okay. All right. Again, fantastic work. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Thanks, Christian.